Welcome back to the morning show. Ah, the sewing machine, the sewing machine, a girl's best friend. If I didn't have my sewing machine, I'd have come to no good end. But a bob and a bob and a pedal, a pedal and wheel, the wheel by day. So by night, I feel so weary that I never get up to play. All right. <laughs> That's an old song, obviously, talking about singing about a sewing machine. I'm joined now by Trisha Schroeder. She's the owner of Trish Tack Sew. It's a sewing school in Palm Desert. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So I brought you on because I am absolutely fascinated that there's a sewing school here in our desert teaching a new generation of sewers, but also anyone who wants to sew, right? It's not just for That's the kids. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I teach kids and adults. Okay, so what got you into this? What inspired you to open a school? <clears throat> Um, well, I've been sewing probably for about 35 years. I learned when I was in home ec, they don't have home ec in mm -hmm. school anymore. If they do, it's totally different too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I started teaching about 2014. Oh, okay. Um, I opened up a little school. I was in the corporate world for mm -hmm. most of my career, but I already took time to, um, volunteer my children's classes mm -hmm. and I brought in my sewing machine and, and worked on, um, sewing with the kids there and I fell in love with it. And so I finally decided that I was going to, um, follow my dream mm -hmm. and and I loved working with kids, I loved sewing, and so mm -hmm. I decided to make that what I wanted to do for my life. That's um, awesome. So I've been doing this since, the, since 2014, mm -hmm. and I mainly started out just teaching kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're fun, they're hilarious, we have a lot of mm -hmm. silliness going on in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, here in the desert, I've learned that there's a huge population that really wants to learn that are either um, retired mm -hmm. or, you know, just my grandma used to sew and mm -hmm. I want to learn how to sew. Yeah, me. <laughs> and, and, a lot, and during the pandemic, mm -hmm. there was a lot of people taking up new, new hobbies, yeah, as you mentioned. Exactly. Taking mm -hmm. up new hobbies. That's great. And how has the reception been with kids? Because you, right, you, right now we're attempting, we're going to attempt to make this. <clears throat> a tiny little bookmark. A tiny little bookmark. Okay. Yep. Um, so and, it's really good because okay. we just have to sew straight lines and when you sew you sew things inside out and sometimes backwards oh okay so, so there's a correct here? side of your of your fabric and mm -hmm. there's kind of a wrong side yeah you mm -hmm. put the two what I call pretty sides we, we put the two pretty sides together mm -hmm. and line up your edges really nice mm -hmm. and straight mm -hmm. and then I have put I matched your your dress today I put it some tape here to help you do a nice straight line oh so when you insert your fabric mm -hmm. you're gonna keep your cut line the, the line that is cut on your fabric mm -hmm. following your your washi tape and okay. you're just gonna keep this line right against what I say just kiss your tape kiss Mwah. your tape kiss mm -hmm. your tape don't mm -hmm. let it sway that way don't let it sway this way okay let's see if I can do it because okay. my grandmother's amazing at sewing and um We're I was really slow too so. so bad at it when she taught me years so ago Ooh. I Ooh. My <laughs> I'm already bad. <laughs> well, if, if you were in my class, we'd actually go through all the safety um, oh. protocols, mm -hmm. and I would tell you the parts of the machine, and this is a presser foot that always needs to be pressed down. Oh, there Otherwise, we go. Otherwise, you're not going to get pretty stitches. Okay, so she's going to do it. And it is on slow, you said. It's on so slow, and if I'm you not... want to go a little faster. Woo. Ooh, and I am pressing a pedal, guys. Yes, so the it's foot pedal makes the machine me. go below. I'm not kissing the tape. And you're driving your fabric to make sure that it's nice and straight on your mm -hmm. tape. Nice! See, the thing is, too, I'm really creative and I'm really crafty, so I'm like, there's no reason that I Everybody shouldn't be able to do sew. this. Everybody, Everybody can, can sew. So there you go. You know, it's so interesting, too, we were just listening to that cheesy song before we came to you that was about, you know, it's a, the sewing machine is a, wom is a woman's best friend or a girl's best friend or something. I know so many men who sew. Some of the best sewers I know yeah, are men. Yeah, because men are designers, you know? And, and boys love it because it's like a little gas pedal and it's a machine that makes the, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they get to work with and the you know, machine. Yeah. So we're going to sew right along here to hold down oh my gosh. Your, your little Oh ribbon. my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. You're doing Look it. At this on live television. Here I go. <laughs> my mom's going to laugh so hard when she sees this. Okay, and these machines have speed control, which are mm -hmm. great for beginners. Otherwise, the mm -hmm. old machines and a lot of the a lot of the machines that are available today, um, you don't have. So we have to lift oh, this guy. Lift up. that up. And your um, your school is in Palm Desert too. I'm right here in Palm Desert, just down the street from you, oh, cool. from the studio. And you have classes for adults. You have classes for kids. Yeah, sure during the summer, I've just finished up my summer camp, so I mm -hmm. only do summer camps in, during the summer, get the kids out of the heat. Um, and then from like a school year, I mm -hmm. work from September to May to offer um, classes for, begin for beginning kids and adults. 
And then sometimes on the weekends oh. I'll have sip and sews for adults. Oh, I like that. For yeah, it's like a sip a little, and paint. Little um, liquid inspiration because adults are usually a little more nervous oh, yeah, than yeah. the kids. All right, very cool. Oh yeah, I was gonna show, oh look at this. You are okay. pretty much done. Awesome, okay, I just wanted to show off my grandma's quilt, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's look beautiful. That. Yeah, so she so, uh, she um, uses machine for the squares and uh -huh. then hand stitches the, what would that be, the bat? That is beautiful. Yeah, yeah she, said she, uh, she hand quilts. Mm -hmm. She hand, hand quilts, quilts a lot of wall hangings. I could have ripped a wall hanging off the wall too, but I brought this one in, cause nice. That's all, that's really beautiful, the hand. Yeah, so it binding. runs in my family, I yeah, could do see? it, right? Got it in your DNA. Yeah, and I have an old sewing machine too at home. Oh, look at that! I did it. Hey, you did it. You can teach new tricks. You can. So look at that. My own bookmark. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a bookmark. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just got to fix it up. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. We're gonna see if you can stick around and play some trivia with me in a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, that sounds nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Trish Taxo. <laughs> Trish Taxo. Uh, T R I S H. I had it at the bottom of the screen earlier. There it is. Okay, so yes. check her out. All right, so stick around. All right. We'll be right back.